Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rickens, aka Rickens. Duh. And today, um, this video is going to be kind of different. So, depending on which one I edit first, um, I got a haircut. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I got, um, what's it called? I got an undercut. So, I will let you know why in a different video, but my hair is different. It's different. <laughs> um, so yeah, this video is gonna be about terrible ends, bad ends. I'm gonna be trimming my hair. I've already started, I put my hair in twists. This video is gonna be about when to know when it's time to trim your hair. Because for me, I've been putting it off for a really long time and I feel it, you know what I mean? Like you, you can you can feel it. And like wash days are taking longer than they're supposed to, detangling is a nightmare, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So this is just a couple of tips on when to know when it's time for you to trim your hair, as well as like a kind of, of like a twist and trim tutorial, if you even wanna call it that, like there are a million videos on YouTube about this, so like I am not by any means the first person to teach you this, but um, it is the method that I've been using ever since I decided to take care of my own hair, and I think it works really well. So I'm going to do that first, and then we can go over like when you when because it, it and it's one of those things like when you know, you know, you know what I mean. So, anyways, so I left out this um, front section of my hair. I blew out my hair, but it's still like shrunk back up. So it's like, natural hair is annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I wanna be curly. And I'm like, but I, I need you to be straight for like a second, cause I, I'm trying to do something. I have two brushes. I have the Felicia Leatherwood brush and I have the Tangle Teaser Naturally Curly brush. Um, so this is just for like bulk detangling and then this is just to get anything that might have been left behind by this. This is usually pretty thorough but like I'm just using this as just just to be extra really. And then I have um, hair shears. I see this on the internet so much like can y'all please stop using like paper like those construction paper scissors and just like any scissors y'all find like to cut your hair because like it's not it's not healthy it's not going to do anything good for you like just let's how about let's just all make a collective decision to stop stop like you know what i'm saying like it's it's not helping anybody you know it's 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 dumb like there are scissors literally sp specifically designed for your hair just use those they're like they can be like ten dollars like it's okay it's okay it's okay and i am also kind of attempting a twist out as well on stretched hair so this video is kind of gonna be all over the place um and for the twist out part i'm using the camille rose spiked honey mousse for in four in one styler hopefully that shows if it doesn't show, I'm just gonna put it in the description box. Okay, so now we can start. Take my Felicia Leatherwood brush and just brush out this section really quick. Cause like, and this is what I'm talking about, like even though I blew my hair out, like there are still so many like tangles at my ends. It's so fresh, it's frustrating. And that's the thing, like, You'll you real you will really know like when it's time for you to cut your hair because like doing your hair will become more and more frustrating as time goes on. You know what I mean? And at this point, like I am cutting a little bit more than I really need to, but I'd rather I'd rather just my hair be healthier overall than trying than try to like hold on to length like it's not that serious it really isn't especially now that i cut my hair like i don't really care anymore i'm not gonna lie i do want to put my hair in a protective style though i'm thinking 
sorry, I have a stool next to me holding everything up. So, anyways, I do want to do a protective style. I'm probably gonna do faux locks because faux locks, like, you can't go wrong with faux locks. Honestly, you can't. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the naturally curly brush. Um, just for like anything extra that I might have missed. And like you can see it on my face too, like whenever the brush catches on to a tangle that I didn't find, you'll, <laughs> you will know. So yeah, just make sure to thoroughly brush this out. And then I'm just gonna split it into two sections. Sorry, I'm using my viewfinder, but I'm also like blind. <laughs> so if it takes me a little bit of time to like figure out what I'm doing, I apologize in advance. Okay, cool, that, that seems fine enough. So I'm gonna take this section. I'm going to brush it out again by itself. And I'm being extra just because I wanna be. So I'm gonna split this into two. I'm gonna split this into two pieces, even pieces. And then I'm gonna take my naturally curly brush again. And I'm gonna brush down each side until I get either halfway or as far down as I can go where it doesn't become like super annoying. <laughs> so. Yeah. I oh, hope my lips aren't too dry. Get rid of Um And like you can see it too, like I'm brushing my hair and there's like one really long hair that's just wants to be seen for some reason. I'm just like, I need you to leave me alone, that's it. And then I twist down to the end And usually, honestly, I don't even need to finish the twist to know where I'm gonna cut. <laughs> because I can feel it. Like, the ends of my hair are just, like, rough. They're really rough and they're, like, raggedy. Um, yeah, I don't wanna cut. So I'm gonna cut, can you even see that? So I'm gonna cut about that much. For now, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think that should work. Because like I said, I could feel it. And I'd rather go longer, go up higher than deal with annoying pieces. And then what I do is I take the matching piece from this side and I just see where, just see if they're matching, if they're, if they're the same length. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I did it right. <laughs> I did it right. So let me just do one more little piece. Actually, yeah, I want to. <laughs> They're close. Um, I just want a little bit extra to just be gone. And then I'm gonna unravel it. This is the extra part I was telling you about. And I'm gonna take one pump of the mousse. I'm gonna take one pump of the uh, spiked honey mousse. I actually really like this mousse. Um, I used it for um, to like preserve my last protective style um, and I was kind of obsessed with it like it makes your hair super soft super shiny it just feels really good um, I even I think I even used it I think I even used it for a wash and go too and it wasn't like the most defined but it was defined enough and my hair looked great So again, as if you're doing a twist out, or a twist, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do this to my hair ever, okay guys? So, yeah, again, I just want my hair to be as detangled as possible because it makes a difference. Um, and mind you, just because I am cutting off like my ends and stuff, does not mean that this is gonna come out well. Okay, <laughs> I am not good at twist outs. I never said I was good at twist outs. Um, this isn't really a twist out tutorial. So, what you get is what you get. I'm gonna take these out tomorrow. Um, I think it's like, 
9 or 10 o'clock. So I'm going to take them out tomorrow night because I have an audition on in like two days. So depending on what my hair looks like, when I take them out um, is whether or not I'm going to show it. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there's an extra long hair. So I'm just gonna cut off one, another little like tiny piece. Hold on. Okay. And that's pretty much it, honestly. Like, there's my twist. The, the mousse is great, the mousse is great. And like, it's gonna make my hair super shiny, super soft, like. Camille Rose doesn't really do any wrong. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this section of the video. Um, so now I guess we can talk about when it's time. Actually, I'm gonna take, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to take some mousse and just run it through my hair because I, I want to. And like I said, like, it's almost done. It's at the bottom. So I'm just going to take four pumps and just run it through my twists so that it sets them. This might be a really stupid idea. But at the same time, I'm not that pressed. <laughs> because if it doesn't come out nice, I will literally just take my hair out and do a quick wash and go. So it's whatever. You know what I mean? I'm fine. I'm fine with that. But um, so yeah, when should you trim your hair? Um, how many weeks is that? So I have my phone with me. Okay. So the first, the first sign. <laughs> for when you should trim your hair um, is when when you realize detangling is starting to take up a lot of your, your like your wash day, yeah. Whenever detangling starts to take up too much of your wash day, um, it's probably a sign that you're ready to like trim your hair, as well as like excessive knots and tangles. Like if you're just like, if you keep going through a section and every time you go through that section, it's just like, why do I have to keep going through this section? Like this is this is ridiculous. Um, you probably need to trim your ends. Like, and it, and honestly, like it doesn't really even have to be like a big trim. Like I probably cut off like an inch, maybe an inch and a half, maybe two. But that's just because like I was ready to. You can like some people like what's her name? Sheree Del Sol. She said that she dusts her ends every week. Um, I might try that just because I get a lot of single strand knots that could that could actually work for me Maybe I feel like it probably would but anyways um, If you have excessive knots and tangles and your detangling is just taking way too long Then you probably Should trim your hair like if you're if you have a lot of um, hair coming out of the brush when you're done detangling like oh actually I brought my hairball from the today's detangling session actually so this is how much hair i lost today and like to me i feel like it is a pretty big ball of hair considering like i i to me i don't think i have that much hair so um and then after everything else that i cut as well oh actually let me show you that too so give me one second so yeah so this is what i lost in the shower from detangling and then this is, how do I do this without being stupid? Um, this is all the hair that I lost. Well, not lost, the, all the hair that I cut. So, like I cut off, so I, I lost, or got rid of this much hair, you know what I mean? So like all together, it's a pretty big ball of hair. So, Listen to your hair. Your hair tell your hair will tell you when it's time to like cut it. It, it really will. The next tip that I have for y'all is oh, actually yeah the <laughs> the increased um, loss of hair and shedding. 
that was the second tip. So I just kind of combined them into one, but like they're, they're two. Number three, um, if your hair is like snagging on everything. So like this week was when I really knew I was like, I, I, I need to cut my hair. Cause like my hair was just like getting caught on any and everything like pillowcases, my shirts, like the couch. I was just like, this is, this is annoying. <laughs> This is annoying like I've been so I've been wanting to cut my hair for a while um, This is the the undercut is actually part of that. So I did a photo shoot For a hair company. I'm not gonna say it in this video. I'm gonna say it in another video <laughs> um, But I did a photo shoot for a hair brand um, and I thought that they were gonna cut my hair, but they didn't. They only like gave me the undercut. They didn't like trim my actual hair because I guess they wanted the length, but I was really looking than that and they told me not to cut my hair. So I didn't know if don't cut your hair meant like trim or like a dusting. Like, cause I, cause I would have dusted my hair, but I was just like, I don't, I don't know. This is my first like real like hair modeling gig so I was like let me just leave my hair alone so I did that but then like I said my hair started getting caught on everything and I was like this is annoying and I've been waiting to cut my hair for like for months for months actually Ooh, uh, if you're doing like a wash and go or twist outs or any kind of like set styles and like your ends aren't defining like if you're doing a wash and go and you realize that like for whatever reason, the ends of your hair are all either tangled or frizzy and things like that, you definitely need a trim because that is just your hair doing this and it really doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Like if you, so like I've been trying like using brushes, right? For my watch and goes. It doesn't matter if I continue to like brush my hair because as soon as those curls clump, if I want to separate them, they're not going to separate because they're tangled anyway. You know what I mean? They're going to they're going to connect to each other while they're inside their little like clump. And then once you try to separate them, they're like, "Oh no, actually we really liked being together, so we're just going to like ruin your life because you tried to separate us you know what i'm saying so like if you realize that you're doing styles and like your ends are just not given what they were supposed to give it's probably time for you to get a trim and then my last tip is oh so i don't really know if you saw i, I should have showed you so when i did my blowout you can so when you hold your hair like taut and it looks dark all the way up to the ends like and you can like see through your ends if you have see-through ends you probably should trim those off because you want thick hair or as thick as your hair possibly can be from your roots to the ends so if you're like stretching your hair and you notice that like your ends are just like wisps just get rid of them get rid of them because it's also like if you're trying to do a style it's not gonna it's not gonna help you you know what i mean like the style like the ends like you might be able to get away with it but it at the end of the day like it really just doesn't help like for me for my wash and goes my ends i guess because i do a lot of protein treatments like my ends are still like strong so like they will coil up when I do wash and go so like it doesn't look like my ends are garbage but they are because as soon as I have to go wash my hair I'm in the shower for like an hour detangling and it's like I shouldn't be in here for an hour why am I here for this long like I shouldn't I shouldn't you know what I mean so yeah those are pretty much all the tips that I have I so I give you the trimming tips I gave you the fake twist and trim tutorial um, slash how I do my twist outs. Um, well, this is my first time doing a twist out on stretched hair. I really hope that it comes out nice. Cause like, I really, I really want to get into like doing twist outs and braid outs, but they just don't seem to 
I'm just not good at it. <laughs> and I know it takes practice, but it's like kind of discouraging because I love the way my wash and goes look. So it's like, why would I do that when I could be happy? You know what I mean? Like, why would I, why would I practice that when I can just be happy and live my life and just, you know, smile? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so it is the next day and I took down my twists and mind you like I like it <laughs> Actually, let me just give you like a quick Look at what it what it's giving like I have definition. I have a lot of shine. I used the um, The let me show you the back. I used the Adjua Beauty Bauman oil to take down my hair and like my hair looks good it looks good it looks good right I have movement I have definition I have a little bit of frizz to give myself more volume I really I do actually genuinely really like it especially because I only used one product um, to do this and I was literally only using it just because I kind of wanted to put moisture back into my hair while I was like twisting cutting you know what I mean um, but it looks good. It looks good. It does look good. <laughs> However, I prefer, I, pre I just prefer wash and goes, like genuinely, I just do. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Something, of, there's just something about it that I'm just like, I think the more I practice, the more I will get better. And like, maybe, maybe the longer my hair gets, the more I'll appreciate it. But I don't know. Like, I'm I'm chill. Well, I'm trying to figure out. So I have, I have an audition tomorrow, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to give this a chance for like a day two. Um. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym, and it's like stormy outside, so I don't know how that's gonna help my hair, but. You know, for a product with like soft hold that was just a foam, like it did a really good job. And like my hair feels great. You know what I mean? Like I actually do genuinely really like that mousse. Um, I, I would I would buy it again. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop in, show you what it looked like when I took it down. And I mean, I'm a little bit impressed. I did separate a little bit more because it depends like sometimes I like to do the 3d effect where you like just unravel it and like stretch them stretch both strands out and let them poof out but this time I actually went ham with the separation and I think I like it like it gives me more I feel like it gives me a lot more dimension um, I have some frizz I have some definition I have volume I have a little bit of everything um, and I actually pinned up the sides, I don't know if you can see the pins, but I pinned up the sides a little bit just so that I can get more height. Um, I've, I've realized that I do prefer, I prefer my hair being up rather than down. So, <laughs> I guess for now anyways, I guess the longer my hair gets, the, my mind might change. But like, as of right now, my hair is like from down, it's like from like my top lip and it kind of goes around to the bottom of my neck. So that's where my hair is at right now. So, so yeah, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. And we'll just leave, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. Um, so if you made it to the end of the video, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.